Do you need a drink or anything before we start? Nah. Good? Well, Mark Castro, congratulations. You said this week you wanted to show improvement, show a little bit more maturity uh, in your work this evening. As a whole, do you feel more satisfied? Um, my dad didn't want me to stop him. He wanted me to be patient in there, take my time and uh, pick shots. And I feel like I need to listen to my dad along the way because it's about building and progressing at this stage. And the fight itself, Vicente was tough. Uh, you hit him with a lot of big shots, but he stood up to them well in his defense. How do you assess those six rounds in there with him? Uh, he was uh, tough in there. Well, everybody's tough at this level, but I have to sh display my talents. And if you have toughness, and uh, you're out of luck because everybody has toughness at this stage. But uh, much respect to my opponent. Uh, he knew how to survive. He knew how to take his time and uh, expand me and make me uh, last six rounds with him. And boxing is about the small percentages, isn't it? You were dominant tonight, but what do you feel still you were able to learn from those six rounds this evening? I feel like uh, little by little, uh, you have to, it's kind of like you have to pick your, your times when you explode. Uh, you got to know when to pick up your hands, or play a little defense. And little by little, you learn uh, everything. You, know, you learn when to walk around, when to take your time, and when to go after your opponent with a, a attack, a counterattack, or any of those. Now, it wouldn't be a Canelo Alvarez undercard <laughs> without Mark Castro. That's what Eddie said during the press conference. Yeah. And he's very much correct uh, to have the opportunity to showcase your skills on another Canelo show, Cinco yeah. de Mayo. How does that make you feel? Uh, I'm, I'm blessed to be in this position. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Uh, I can't say that enough. And uh, I put the work in the gym, and uh, I'm just, uh, I just feel like I've been put in this position. Uh, thanks to God, I picked a, a perfect team with Matt Trim, Eddie Hearn, and uh, the Zone and Keith Conley. And you've got big dreams in this sport. You'll be believing that you're going to go on to win world titles and headlining shows of your own. Performing on these types of shows under that type of pressure, how beneficial do you think they'll be for you down the line? Um, basically, uh, I put my time in the gym and everything else is going to come. Uh, I stay focused. My dad keeps me grounded, keeps me humble. And uh, at the end of the day, like we win the fights in the gym. And I do this every day. And maybe four or five times a year, I come out here and perform for the people. Another thing you spoke to me about during the week in terms of taking some pressure off your own shoulders is just being comfortable in your own skin, just being yourself. Do you think that can be a message to other fighters to just concentrate on what makes them happy? Yeah, honestly, uh, I just uh, stay in your lane, stay focused, and uh, you'll get uh, you'll get what you what you deserve. You get what you put in for put in for, and at the end of the day, um, whatever is meant for you will be meant for you. You had a chance to watch yeah. the pound for pound king up close in yeah. this camp. What's he taught you when it comes to just carrying yourself and, and how to be a true professional? Uh, the main thing uh, Canelo has uh, told me, uh, stay disciplined, uh, stay focused, and uh, uh, just just take care of myself at the end of the day because like we only get one shot of this and uh, I'm grateful for him to like teach me those things and just learn from him at this stage. And you were a fantastic amateur, clearly so talented, beginning to turn heads as a professional now. Now, how important for you, Mark, is the activity? Have, have you spoken to Eddie about when we could see you next? Um, I feel like uh, whenever they want to put me in, uh, I think uh, three or four more fights this year, and uh, I'm, I'm excited for that. And I'm, because, I'm, go on, carry on. Because I feel like I think Canelo has two more, and I see where else I can get in uh, another fights in there between. And uh, this fight, I believe, originally was meant to be an eight-rounder, if I'm not mistaken. So is that the next step for you, eight-rounder, perhaps a ten-rounder by the end of the year? Yes. Uh, uh, very. I thought it was going to be an eight-rounder, but uh, for the TV slot, we had to move it down to six. Uh, uh, me and my opponent, uh, we wanted it, so we moved it down. Uh, yes, uh, ten-rounder by the end of the year, for sure, and uh, I'll be ready for it. And just finally, you're a man who, who really understands his boxing. You also understand how tough a proposition this might be for Canelo Alvarez in the main yeah. event tonight. When you do break it down, what do you see as the keys to victory for both men? Uh, Canelo's is going to stay composed and just stay calm. Uh, Bebo's, he's going to neutralize Bebo by not moving and they just pick his shots little by little. Canelo's too fast for him and uh, Canelo's just going to have fun with him and put on a show. And you said you were just a boy from Fresno with a dream who worked hard. For those who couldn't make it tonight and those who were in the arena, do you have a little message of thanks you'd like to leave uh, for them? Thank you for all my fans. I appreciate all the support. Uh, I'm going to keep working in the gym, staying humble, and we're going.